As far as I can make out, Adventureland is a mashup of two genres, the coming-of-age genre and the very true-to-life so much so it's probably painful and reminds you of your own life genre. Trust me, it's not based on your life, it's just based off of the director's life. Uh, Greg Matola? Motola? Sorry if I'm butchering it. But yeah, it's based off of his time as a carny. Obviously, he's thrown in with some Hollywood spice, of course. But the story being, uh, it follows James being the protagonist, played by Jesse Eisenberg. He has to come up with uh, money over the summer. It would be a lot easier for him to find a job if he had a relevant degree. His degree being an English major. Although, if it were me, I would have joined the professional organization of English majors. <laughs> That's for all your Prairie Home Companion fans out there. Up top! But, he's only qualified for one job, and it's to work at a land. What land is it? Adventureland! I'll stop. But, working at Adventureland, it has the same air as high school. Or prison. That same air that I really don't want to be here, but I'll make the best of it kind of air. Although, the high school comparison is probably more apt what with all the relationships that go on in there. You have James, interested in M, played by Christian Stewart. Side note, like Hayden Christensen, you want to see if Christian Stewart can actually act in this film. And it's this film that she actually won me over and proved that she can act if she's given good material to work with. <coughs> Sorry, I'm allergic to sparkles. Although, as long as we're on the subject of acting, Jesse Eisenberg plays Jesse Eisenberg, he kind of plays the quiet nerd who kind of speaks qu quickly in rush like this and he try to make sense of what he just said. Kind of like that. But wh where was I? Uh, James, interested in M, who is having an affair with Connell, who is played by Ryan Reynolds. But then there's the, uh, Lisa P, who takes an interest in Jesse. I'm making this way too complicated. Just go out and watch the film and you actually enjoy it. It isn't the sort of awkwardness that you find in Jeff Who Lives at Home or The Office. The difference being is that it actually has characters that you root for and you want good things to happen to and really it kinda had me feeling good at the end of the film. It had me... oh what was it again Mr. Brother? Oh yeah! Feeling good! 